Hey, I'm Kev Kev, must go and go back to High Racing has we're now beloved Skippy once again as we're around the beloved or Jose Jose Carlos pace in Brazil 2.68 miles long 15 turns and the host of the Brazilian Grand Prix host of the WEC host the Enduros the Brazilian Endurance Championship stock cars everything everything Rose is here as we're here for 30 in that race. We're in a pretty low split. It's so in a number three car out of 19. And you can tell that because we have a 1.4k high race in as well. We're starting to see it though. All right, Kev. Are you ready? Watch for the lights. Green, green, green. And we hope we can survive the first quarter. First lap would be nice. And try and get a top five as well. All right. Still there, on your right. Easy, hold your line. Hold your line. They're on your right. I'm throwing a bit slow. Car on your left. Still Up there. Up the back, wheel bang of the car in front. Hold your line. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. They're on the left side. Uh, what the hell? The leaders have crashed. Good start. Never had such a good start round here. Damn it, I forgot to change down the third. There we go then, back then for the win. Got the number one car all over us. Oh, we had a bad final corner there through the John Cow, isn't it? There we go then, 12 laps to go. He's already gone for the Indy 500 route of just defending the inside line. You're the man, stay on it, P2. Be nice and smooth through curve this. I'll try not to lose like too much time. On your left. Easy, hold your line. Still there. Oh, he actually wants to play on this lap. Still there. All clear on the left. Which is annoying because the leader made a total mess of that corner. Kind of let them get away with that one. Okay, we'll let the number one card just go away. We're just following third. We'll get the popcorn out and enjoy the show, shall we? As the leader is not very confident at going into the corners at the moment. Got around the second gap behind to the next group. They're battling hard though. Yeah, we'll be being scratching a lot in this race as well. I haven't, I haven't gone one left. in a while. It's hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. P3. Not that was a 155.24. This is a gentle nudge. Right, I'm here. That's all. The leader's messed up again. 
No, it seems like innocent behind us. The gap's now 2.5 to 4. Got all a bit ragged in front. Pass that 54.3 from 8. Shows how poor our pace is. As the leader's gone in way too deep. We're virtually bump drafting it. Got to be careful now, we're getting a bit too close. I think it can be like the opening that, where they just take each other out and we can just, just cruise by. So he's diving. Not giving it up though. As uh, fourth is gaining. That don't put clean air. Oh, they. You know, like they were in that middle sector. So they're both side wide. But they've gone to power much earlier, so they're going to have to run as we're playing city buggers already. They're coming up the lead. He's not even bothered to come down. Doesn't look like it. You've just done a 154.78. The guy ahead has just done a 154. Car on your right. Clear on your right. I need a curb would take me into him. I just backed out enough that. We've had a cut warning. Keep it tidy. Please, Kev. But he's trying to do the switch back and I kind of ruined his plans now, there. Uh, so we're just in the 54s. 55-2 from the guy now who's in second. That's very slow. We're doing an endurance race here for Skippy. So that's what we're doing. We're just easing in. This is actually a three-hour race for Skippy. Not 30 minutes. Or 23 minutes, apparently. Going side by side. Hope we've got the popcorn out. There's a pretty good show in front. Once again, always wear your fourth as well. Who has gained a second? He is gaining. Approaching midway mark of this race. It's a bit like F2, isn't it? It'll get, get excitement early on. Calms down a bit. And it's going to go crazy at the end. So what's going to do in that tactic? Which is not working this time. <laughs> Fine, I'll be the one that goes high then. While you play... Play Slanum in front. Who do you think you are? Lindsay Vaughn? Body mirror, what the hell? Got well, in the fifty six, isn't it? I don't wonder they're catching behind. Is it time to maybe pounce with fourth gaining quite a lot? Oh, we're talking over a second that final that or that last lap. Car on your right. Careful, still there. Clear right. And I did build a pretty good brick wall in front for me not to find the gap. Go by. Oh, they're literally going side by side in every corner. And fourth has joined the show. Lucky for us, the top five are still. Well, fifth and below are battling hard, it seems. 
And there is still time for them to, you know, catch up to us. Oh, first has gone very wide. Absolute mess of a corner that was. Careful, car on your right. Hold your line. Clear on your right. Car right. Still there. Easy, hold your line. All clear yeah, on the right. Nicely. Careful, car on your right. Still there. Clear right. Car on your right. Clear on your right. Well done, Kev. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those exits. You're now in the lead. That lap time was 155.58. Unfortunately, it's still got a massive tow here. Oh, that traffic in front I see as well. Car on your right. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Careful, still there. Still there. Still there. All clear on the right. On your right. Clear right. On your right. Hold your line. Easy, hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear on your right. All right. Clear on your right. All right. Oh, he gave me the call enough. Careful, so. still there. Oh, he's ahead. Still there. Clear right. <laughs> Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Careful, still there. You're clear left. Left side. Still there. Easy, hold your line. That's the leader's getting away, 1.3 ahead. Hold your line. Easy, hold your line. Hold your line. What the hell? Clear left. P4. Oh, the guy made it three wide. But now we're in trouble of letting the leader get away. See, so my brake didn't work. It's had the opposite effect. Limits, watch those lines. Does he have caught back up though? Here we go, it's a four man conga. And the guideline's actually catching up to us as well. No. Oh, that's a dive. Surprised his nose didn't get chopped off there. The actor Dixon behind is now 3.7 seconds. Yeah, we're going to have a five man Congo in a couple of laps. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Oh, I might be getting a bit of toe from the guy in front, but I don't know. Okay, Kev, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Fastest lap for oh, crash in front. 153.78. <laughs> How oh, about we finally speed it up? I think it's because it's one that we weren't really battling too hard as well. I think that was the guy who was, we were about to lap as well. I oh, know, still sitting in front. Men instantly in the distance. A little bit of understep. It's 
So I just want to get the pop can out again for the next couple of laps. This is like a Monza race. This is where we got the time our position on the penultimate that. So we can set up our run to the line on the final that. Is that overall race we got there'll be a chance here. Well they are they all break very hard there. Hey Marcel, you got a battle of one, two, three, and four coming up on your six. Would appreciate it if you would give us room when we come by. There you go, race control. Go into that traffic. You've just done a 154.47. Oh, he's made a mistake. Oh, just done almost down. So we've got binded fast as that. Oh, no, we've done a 53, haven't we? What was it? Torres did. I swear Torres did a 53. I'm not really catching Marcel. I don't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're still alive! What the hell? Hey, dude, what the hell, man? Race oh, clean. Torres is now in the lead. Oh, he's diving it. Oh, you can see that coming. Car on your left. You're clear left. Well, shit happened. Now I've got some work to do with it. Get track up to the top two. And we've got Dixon on our tail now as well. But it looks like they're battle in front, so we should be able to catch up. I think we're faster than Dixon overall. I think it's just because of the battling. They're gaining. But we'll see. We'll find out on this lap. Push, 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 or we'll lose this place. Let's look how hard that defending is. This is brilliant. Keep it up. P3. That was a nice little slip, buddy. Oh, there we go again. Yeah, keep weaving. I like this. There we go, right back in our popcorn seat. Dixon behind is now 1.5. Yeah, Dixon's actually maybe similar place to us. So now we keep it in a high gear there. It's just to keep the revs down. So don't have the wheel snapping on us. But you can do occasionally through there. The track temperature is falling. It's now 45 Celsius. So go again, popcorn out. As Dixon will get involved in these last three laps. Like he is gonna be catching up to us now with this battle then. Fifth is seven seconds back. They're the person who did the fastest lap earlier in the race, I'm not sure. 
They've got time to catch up to us, though. You've just done a 153.60. The guy behind has just done a 153.87. Oh, he's round! <laughs> I guess the guy in front's not unhappy about that. Where are we going then? Different ball game, head to head. Just gonna sit behind him. So this is a different game we're playing now. We've got no one to distract, the number one car, it's just us together. Just a little poking at the defences. See what's away. happening. Oh, he swings it in late there. As Dixon's joined us as well. Maybe he's not here, Ted. Oh, no. We're the filling in the sandwich. And we are catching up to that traffic. Oh, in a bad place as well. Being onto the back straight. Or is it a good place? Let's see how quick this lap traffic is. Lucky, I had to back out there. P2, two laps left. Come on, you're looking good for a podium. Oh, he's almost done what the guy did on previous lap. Alright, I maybe got to try and force that on the final lap. There's Dixon, he's clinging on. Oh, he's almost sending us into a crash there. What's your name, the Kirk or Vessel? Okay, Kev, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. So it looks like Marcel is not part of our race, unfortunately. I can't use him. Here's Dixon. Trying to find all that fun. Let me chase these guys. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? You're a back marker. Guess he's not having much of that. Open up your fucking eyes, moron. So we go then. Final lap. Virtually guaranteed a podium. Real good. Number 19 smashes into number 4, trying to steal his apex. You're an idiot. You're going to the inside. Alright. Still there. Hold your line. Still there, on your right. Careful, still there. Easy, oh, hold your line. Oh, right. Still there. Oh my god. Hold your line. I'll get much closer. Easy, hold your line. Hold your line. Oh, he's making it free wide, is he? Still there. Ah! Clear on your right. <laughs> on your right. All clear on the right. Oh, what? Mama Did someone outbreak themselves? Run away! Now we put out the magical third gear.
How about taking it? You can have it. Well, we've got to review that then, whatever happened to third. Bobby, yeah, so uh, go out the final, the race, man. final corner to us. <laughs> I'll follow that. It's a good race. Is it Seth? Shame what happened there. Uh, anyway, so definitely see, the watch podium. that back as well. It's bad not quite. Turn one, the race. Not quite close enough as victory! And into the August. Perfect drive, absolutely flawless. Don't think we were the fastest driver, but coming across the line in first in the end. What a matter sometimes. Hey, good racing you too, man. Sorry about that uh, snap over steer in turn four. I oh, know that was really good racing for the most part, just a couple of issues there so should we look at them so here we go back to the start then racing towards this first corner nothing really actually happened here it's turn three wasn't it uh let's look at three wide oh a bit of a clip so guys i think we're alongside through here yeah oh we kind of lost it on the curb there in the 19 and you might have seen the issue in front for the white car as well so that's fabio actually number one yeah, it's a shame what happened on that final. We definitely had to check that out. But yeah, we we're side by side. But you hold the race act. I didn't realise that right at the start as well. Let's check out what happened in front. Oh, second dived in way too much. Way too much. So let's catch in on second as... Yeah, just break for the last lap. Not the, fir not the first lap with the cold tyres. And oh... Got instant karma for it as well. So here's our little... Little dove tap. To Alex around the halfway mark of the race as you can see Sean getting away and I thought it's because he made it free wide but it seems like we just both kind of drift into each other in the first corner that I turn in but he's having to delay it that's probably more on me because I just didn't realize we were free wide to be honest but neither of us were that badly damaged though you know until the next up so here you go then the internet kind of changed the race as we start right at the beginning because there were dives everywhere. So dives into the first corner. Didn't quite work out though. I thought the number one had a bit of, better run than that. Guess I might have just didn't quite get the traction though. And so, yeah, now we're heading into the point. So, you can actually see that traffic is still, like, five seconds up the road. Like, I don't... Did we even get within five seconds of that traffic in front? They were not an issue. So, oh, okay. So, the leader messes up there. Let's get us to run. Oh, we've got a Cetil Trudy. We do. Oh, very close. Oh. And he's, st he's still carrying the momentum. Look at it. And then I think this might have been a way to... Yeah. That was just silly. That's just silly. I was thankful to Alex. Normally, guys don't hold the brakes there, but he did. So here we go then. Ultra slow-mo. So yeah, this is exactly like the Citadel Trolley from Brazil Grand Prix 2009. There, oh, there is space on the inside, but not catching that curb. Barely giving a car's riff on the inside. Probably more on the number seven, because the six... If there was another inch, maybe, they would have got away with that and there wouldn't have been contact. But I love how he just powered through here. I think the 7 actually ran right, but no, he just battles through down the inside here. Yeah, and then this is just a bit naughty, to be honest. I, maybe a bit, bit heated. And then, yeah, there's no gap there. I noticed that famous Senna quote, if there's always a gap, go for it. Well, there's no gap there. There's a freaking... Freaking car on the curb, <laughs> covering any sort of gap there. That was just, just silly. And then we slow it down again for the spin, which cost number seven car a victory. So he battled in here, dived it down the inside, and just, oh, the rear's gone. Too much curb. Way too much curb. At least he kept out the barriers, though. Oh, look at that drift. 
pretty decent save actually in the end okay we didn't actually see this in the race but isn't he's actually trying to catch up to us three and then retribution and so finally there was a big incident wasn't there on that final out there so here we are in third watching me being a bit confused by the leader just hanging out rides because as i saw as you saw in the previous time i thought oh he is almost losing their end he might go a bit wide here. Oh, he... Nah, he saved it. But you're just going to see an awesome run here. The double toe. Uh, so we've got a bit closer. And then I just hogged the inside. I got to learn how to actually, you know, make it two run instead of three wide some way. Sometimes in these situations. But yeah, he just pelts it down the middle. Breaks early. Oh, because I'm down the inside, he turned in kind of normally. So, yeah, if you see, as we come up to the breaking point, maybe he thought he cleared us, but he had to turn back out the corner. So, you'll see with his inputs, like, breaking now. There we are. We kind of outbreak them. He's kind of turned in, turned in. Like, oh, no, there's a damn skippy in the way. And has to turn back out, but then... There's another one car as well, and so they collide. Fortunate end. Need to play some slow piano music over this, don't I, as well. And we see that overhead as well. So there we go, three wides, like... Breaking early. I think Fabio, yeah, trying to do the cutback. But because he had to turn out... Yeah, to that incident, and yeah, that was... Race over! Get that leaderboard up. Let's, let's see the results from this. So here we go, then. For the results, as we were split four out of seven, so kind of in the mid pack, not too bad. But you'd see Strength Fulfilled really jumps up, as you'd see, like very low. And then above us, like virtually doubles for the top split, and virtually half for bottom split. So our average lap time is actually very slow 55 8. If we just focus on the top split, actually, if I bring that up as well. Like, top split average at time, 54.1, and they were running, you can see, 51s, 52s, and 53s. But when we bring it back to our split, though, like, oh, we actually did the best that time, 53.6 on the 10th lap. And that was with draft. But yeah, very slow average. They have one by half a second, plus 91 to the old I rating, plus 0.170 old safety rating as well. As we go through the field, you can see third did come, the number seven. And number 11 did come in fifth in the end as well. As who else gained lots by the top three, of course. As we can fill down who lost the most. Oh, right at the bottom. Oh, no, poor Alex. That down as well. The only car that done. That is really shocking. Considering we had quite a few crashes at the beginning. I suppose more people didn't quit. No one actually kind of quit on the race. Everyone just raced around. As, yeah, and 13 was the guy who was ambitious on the first up as well. But yeah, very decent race. There's only... I think it's like only three... No, four drivers got into the 53s as well in that race. Shows the quality we're at. Like, that was my best time in practice as well. Like, I did a 10-minute practice beforehand. I did, like, 53-7, so... Yeah, not great. If we go up just one split, though, will it improve much? 53-1, which is probably the split we're going to be in if we do another race. And a big gap when we get the second split, 52s, and then, of course, 51s and 52s right at the top. But I hope you enjoyed some more skippy action. I didn't do as much eye racing this week. That's why you're not seeing, like, the IMSA Endurance races. But I'll definitely try and hop back onto it in week three of the seas and definitely back my beloved Skippy has. We do a mouse dance as well. There we go. We're, we're really celebrating now. But thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Is that donuts? Can't really tell.